so you've purchased web hosting and installed WordPress. Now what? WordPress has a bit of a learning curve and can be intimidating. But if you do these five things after installing WordPress, you'll be well on your way to building your new website. The first thing to do after installing WordPress is change the default permalink setting. The permalink setting in WordPress controls the structure of the URL. You're probably used to seeing URLs like yoursite.com slash contact or yoursite.com slash about. For whatever reason, the default WordPress permalink setting displays URLs in the format of yoursite.com slash question mark p equals one two three i know it's horrendous i have no idea why this remains the default link structure after all these years but the good news is it's super easy to change to make the change head to settings and permalinks and select post name and make sure to save your changes before leaving the page it's especially important to do this early on in your website development since changing the permalink structure on a well-established website can majorly impact your site's search engine visibility the second thing to do after installing wordpress is install a free security plugin called WordFence. Believe it or not, WordPress is the most commonly hacked content management system on the internet. This may seem surprising, but WordPress is also the most popular CMS on the internet, so bad actors are incentivized to focus their efforts on finding WordPress vulnerabilities. Now, you may be thinking, who would want to hack my website? I'm just a landscaper or own a local bakery. There's nothing of value in my WordPress dashboard. But most of the time, bad actors don't care about your specific site at all. They're simply trying to gain access to as many web servers as possible to host malicious scam pages and send spam mail. If your site is compromised, hackers may do things like host those Windows tech support scam pages on your website. Bad actors will get banned from web hosts immediately if they try to put up a page like this on their own web hosting accounts, so it's easier to exploit vulnerable websites. Fortunately, there's a simple, free fix. Install and activate the WordFence plugin and you will significantly significantly increase the security of your site. WordFence has real-time brute force protection and a web application firewall. You can also enable two-factor authentication on your admin account, further decreasing your chances of a brute force attack. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide on how to do any of the five things I mentioned in this video, I've got comprehensive tutorials for each of them in my free course on building a WordPress website from start to finish. You can watch it on Krayler Academy, and I've got it linked below. The third thing you need to do after installing WordPress is integrate email marketing. Whether you're building a landing page, corporate site, or e-commerce store, email marketing is the best way to stay engaged with your customers. Let's face it, social media algorithms are unpredictable. Sometimes your audience may miss your posts completely, and using email and SMS marketing ensures that your message reaches your audience. This can feel overwhelming in WordPress, but that doesn't have to be the case with OmniSend. OmniSend is an all-in-one email and SMS marketing solution with a free WordPress plugin to add embeddable forms and pop-ups to your website. Effective email marketing starts with an effective call to action. Rather than paying for an expensive plugin to create pop-ups and still needing to pay for an email marketing system, you can do it all for free with OmniSend. OmniSend has powerful automation and advanced segmenting, so you can do everything from automating abandoned cart emails in WooCommerce to sending a free ebook to new subscribers. OmniSend was kind enough to sponsor this video, and you can use OmniSend free for your first 200 150 contacts. When you're ready to upgrade, they're offering 30% off your first three months with promo code Krayler30. You can get started with OmniSend at the link below. I also have an entire tutorial video on my channel showing you how to integrate OmniSend with WordPress. Thanks again to OmniSend for sponsoring today's video. And continuing the theme of email, the fourth thing you need to do after installing WordPress is set up SMTP mail routing through a transactional email service. By default, your WordPress site will send emails using the the server your site is hosted on. Web hosting servers aren't optimized to send email, and with the recent Gmail email sender guidelines, most emails sent by WordPress will end up in your spam folder. Your WordPress site sends you emails for many reasons. WordFence security notifications, contact form submissions, reset password links, WooCommerce order notifications, the list goes on and on. So you want to make sure you receive these emails reliably. Thankfully, there's a free solution. You can install the WP Mail SMTP plugin and connect 
connected to a transactional email service. I recommend Brevo. It's free to send up to 300 emails per day, and Brevo guides you through setting up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC to ensure emails are delivered reliably. It's relatively straightforward to set up, but if you'd like to see a step-by-step -step guide, I cover this in my free course I mentioned earlier. And something else that's free is hitting that subscribe button. Subscribing and clicking the bell ensures that you're the first to see my new videos. The fifth thing you should do after installing WordPress is install an SEO plugin. WordPress doesn't have effective SEO tools built in, but there are several SEO plugins to choose from, including Yoast, All-in-One SEO, and Rank Math SEO. I typically use the free version of Yoast SEO. It makes recommendations on how you can improve your page design and copy for SEO best practices. It also lets you customize each page's SEO title and meta description, and I think this is the most impactful optimization you can make. Whether you choose Yoast SEO or another plugin, make sure you go to Settings and Reading and uncheck the box that says discourage search engines from indexing site. This box might be checked by default depending on your web host, so it's critical to make sure it's unchecked. Otherwise, none of the SEO you do is going to be effective. After your SEO is configured, I recommend taking a few minutes to submit your site to Google Search Console. This free dashboard provides metrics and insight into how your pages are ranking on Google. Just keep in mind that SEO is a long-term process. You can follow best practices, but it often takes weeks or or even months for a new website to start ranking well on search engines. It takes a while to establish trust, so set your expectations accordingly and don't judge the results until it's been a few months. Also, a quick honorable mention is to do your research before picking a theme. Instead of going to the themes library in WordPress and picking one that looks good based on the demo sites, do some research on which page builders are supported and how often the developer updates the theme. If you're new to WordPress and aren't sure which page Builder is right for you. Some popular options are Elementor, Divi, Beaver Builder, and the stock blocks editor that comes with WordPress. Lately, I've been using Elementor and the blocks editor depending on the project, and I've enjoyed the Cadence theme for its flexibility and wide variety of starter templates. But the most important thing is that you're using a theme that supports your preferred page builder, has the customization you're looking for, and is well supported by the developer so your site doesn't break over time. Those are my top five things you should do after installing WordPress. If you want a comprehensive guide on building your WordPress site from start to finish, including tutorials on everything I've talked about, check out this video. Also, don't forget to take advantage of the OmniSend discount linked below. It's free for your first 250 contacts, and if you already have a bigger list, you can get 30% off your first three months with promo code Crayler30.